Hi guys, welcome back to the part two of my tutorial. So we are going to be starting from where we stopped. So we are going to be creating a sphere, choosing a sphere to the scene so that we can start to add other forms to the shoe. And in this case, we are actually going to scale our sphere and rotate it um, at 90 degrees the x axis and we are also going to change the subdivision axis and the subdivision height to about 8 and subdivision height 8 as well because we actually have some we actually want to have a perfect look while we are actually doing this so that's why we are actually bringing down the subdivision level this low so that we can have a perfect look once we are done and tend to smooth it out. So I, I'll just go on and you know keep um, moving things around. I just centered the um, pivot and I start to you know get some forms and to make sure that everything is in line the way I, I want it. So this is me just um, pulling stuff. Okay, um, I want this to get to the base of the sole. We need to move this point out as well so that it is covering the, uh, the, the leg, the front toe and, and all that. So, we, we actually need to get the basic the, the basic forms for for this very for this very part because it's very essential we do so because if, if we actually miss it I, I think then it's actually going to affect whatever thing we are going to be doing later so let's just um, let's just work together here while I push this point to get a perfect the line of um, what I want. Um, just try as much as possible to make sure that what you are doing actually looks a little bit like mine so that we can get the same results. So this is me. Oh, I forgot to save so just save the project and save. Okay. That's fine. So let's go back and see how this thing is actually looking before we start to add other things. So, so I'll go to extrude and then I'll turn off um, symmetry yeah, because we actually want to start extending this form that we have. So to extend the form, the base polygon, you need to hold down shift and drag to the um, to the axis that you actually want to extend it to so um, I'm just going to select these two faces and go to edit mesh and duplicate so after duplicating um, um, I'll go back to object mode and select the face that I just duplicated, center my pivot, and then move it up a bit too. Then select the other faces that were under and I'll delete them. So now I have this as a separate mesh. So I'm just gonna pull it down just a little and I'll start extending the edges as I said before. You know, holding down, we're holding down shift you can extend these edges upward so that's what I'm doing now just extending them upwards scaling them down a little just to get the, the form like the shoe like the, the, the leg is actually inside the shoe so um, that's why we actually brought in the leg in the first place so that we can actually use it as a base to create the shoe so I'll just keep extending till I till I'm satisfied and also scaling this thing as well to actually get a good form. So don't forget to hold down shift while you are actually extending. 
If not, you're, you're, you're not going to get this result. So this is actually the, you know, fun base of the shoe. Yeah, you, you might actually want to make it look nice because it's actually going to translate um, how the overall looks of the shoe is actually going to be. You know, so let's, let's just go. Let's just keep on moving stuff and see where it is actually going to land us. Yeah. So let me see if I'm not sure. I'm really going to need that part. So I'm I'm going to take it off. So I'll just work with this um, lens that I've that I've gotten to already. So let me just um, place it. Let me just place it nicely. You know, while I keep um, pushing other phones in, so I can actually get a better, a much better result. So now I'm going to turn on symmetry again, so that um, whatever thing that I'm doing on one other side is actually going to translate to the other side. Okay. Um. Yeah, still on the pushing side yeah you know trying to get something perfect you know you just need to you just need to put your whole head in it you know it doesn't just come in handy so we gotta work so let's do the work you know this is the work this is the only time you get to do this so after now you just get smooth nice sneakers you know ready to Put it on to your character or whatever thing you want to use it for. You know, you might actually sell this if you want to, but yeah, I'm actually giving mine out for free. So you can go to my gum road and actually you can download it at no cost at all. Please be sure to subscribe and like this content because it actually helps the YouTube algorithm, you know. It actually helps other people from other regions to see the video and as well as to watch as well. Thank you very much for your support. Um, with that being said, yeah, let's get back to pushing forms. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I lifted up my the front base of the shoe from the sole. Yeah, so. I'm just fine-tuning things, you know, ideas come and ideas go, so when they come, I catch it and I do what my instinct actually tells me to do, while also looking at the reference, you know, but you don't want to be, um, what's it called, you don't want to be married to perspective, you know, so you want to have other insights as well, okay. Okay, so we're just checking out things. Okay, it's fine. So I'm just introducing a new sphere to the scene. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. Division X about 90 degree. You know, subdivision axis to eight and subdivision height to eight as well. So this is actually going to serve as the um, front cover. Of the shoe, we are going to use this to create um, the covers of the shoe. Yeah, down to the back. So select the faces and delete the parts that are not going to be useful for now. You know, um, I'm going to delete half of this because I only want half. That's because I'm going to mirror it later to the other side. You know, so I'll take, I'm just taking out the parts that I feel that I don't want just to make things easy and clean for me. So yeah, I think this is actually, this is, uh, let me see, um, okay, I think this is actually good enough for me. So I'll bring it down and, oh, uh, okay, yeah is better and I'll go over and see how it's gonna sit 
Okay, go over to point mode and just push, push, push some things, you know? <laughs> it's fun to push things. It's fun to push the polygons around. Just, just make a shape that, you know, you could actually use to wrap around the whole thing without any hassle. So that's what I'm trying to get. And it seems like that whole pattern isn't working for me. So I'll just hold down um, all the edges and scale them um, or scale them evenly so that I'm going to have um, this straight um, line on all the edges. And then I'll select some um, faces that I don't want and I'll debate them because I just want to wrap this around the front of the shoe you know nothing too serious um, that's actually going to serve as the the cover the, the front cover of the shoe you know after after I'm done with one side I'm actually going to mirror it to the other side so we are just going to be working just on one angle for now let's keep you know make, make it look nice just push things in um, if it doesn't really work for you with all pushing you could you know you could rotate as well if you want to um but it seems mine is actually working pretty good okay i'll go to edge loop i'm looking for my custom shell I'll go to edge loop and I want to add some edges. That's not actually what I want. So I'll go to the settings and reduce the number of edges. Uh, I think I need about one. Yeah. I'll reduce the number of edges to one and then go back, delete this one that I've already inserted and add one loop cut over there because I just want to be able to lift that place up and nothing more. Yeah. So that I can have a good transition. Yep. So that's just what it is. Um. Okay. This is actually looking good. So at least you're making progress. Yeah. So I'm sure this is beginning to look exciting for you guys because it is for me. You know. <laughs> yeah, it is for me because I actually know. Um, what this thing is actually going to translate into you know so it's exciting for me so I want you guys to be excited as well while going through this with me so yeah let's just try and get this edges right you can see the reference so I'm just trying to get that call the way it's supposed to be yeah Um, so for those of you that really um, want to use the shoe but don't want to model, the shoe is actually on our Gumroad page so you can actually visit Gumroad and download the shoe, it's actually free and yeah for those of you that actually want to model, yeah we can you can as well go to Gumroad you know and download the same file it has all the assets that we actually use for the shoe including the leg so you don't have to try to model your leg yourself we've already done that so now yeah we are going to mirror this thing we are done with the basic forms that front so yeah so this is what the mirroring actually looks like so it's not bad so we are going to work with this yeah so this is fine for me
So yeah, I'm just constantly pushing the forms. I mean, it's nothing really serious. Like I said, you you, you can follow um, me exactly the way I'm actually doing this. Yeah, it's actually going to help, you know, so that we can be on the same page and why you're having the same results as I do as well. So, that's okay. Yeah, this is actually looking good. So, I think I, I might just need to extend this. Um, this toe, um, this toe cover a little and maybe bend it, bend it down. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to select that whole edge and just select the side that I don't want holding control and drag in and I'll go to extrude and I'll use, um, no, that's too wrong. So I'll offset them. I'm going to offset it and then I'll use thickness to you know try and bend it inside, bend it inward, yeah. So yeah. Okay, that's actually that's actually better. That's just some few tweaks and we yeah, are good to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that's actually good enough now. Maybe we might, you know, tweak things later, but for the most part, we are generally getting the forms. Yeah, so you just keep pushing and yep, we might want to delete that point there. It's useless. We don't need it. Okay. Um, so, I think we are actually we are slowly getting to the end of the part two of this tutorial because I don't really want to make it very lengthy, you know. I don't want to make it too long. I don't want to bore you to death. So I just want something catchy and understandable so that you can always go back and you know take a few steps backwards if you actually missed anything. Yeah, so keeping it simple is a dream, you know. So yeah, this is what I have. This is what I have, you know. It's not, it's not too dense. It's not too, you know, something, something, something nice, something nice enough, you know, something good. Okay. So we are almost at the end of the tutorial, so I'm just going to set some things in place so that we can use that instead of the next part of the tutorial. So I just turned off symmetry so that I can, you know, make some changes in the form because I don't want it to affect the other side. I'm just going to extend this there and select the spaces and duplicate them boom and i think we are actually going to call this a day see you in part three